Hey guys, it's Coach here, and I thought I'd try some new things with the channel, uh, doing prediction videos of upcoming fights and, you know, different wrestling events and such. Um, tomorrow night we got UFC on Fox, uh, number, I wrote it down because I'm ill-prepared. I believe it is 26. No, it's 28. You'll see on Fox, 28. As you can see, I'm not really good at this. And uh, the prompt I have to remember all the matchups is my terrible handwriting on the back of a box with most names probably misspelled. I'll try to make this a quicker one uh, because it is so ill-prepared. Um... And to get it up, you know, before the fights actually happen. Um, maybe that's what I'll do. I'll just do all my videos post-fight and predict all the winners. And it's like, I'm just really good at this. But, so, I'm just going to do the televised fights. I'm not going to do the prelims, the pre-prelims. I'm going to do the prelims that are on Fox. And the main card that is on Fox. Um... I'm going to be a little biased on this one, um, because it's really a card of who you know against who you might gonna know. A lot of fighters have a real chance to bust into top 10 opponents after this that haven't had that opportunity yet. There's a lot of experience on this card. Um, you know, you got a former world champion and, and everything else, and a lot of just probably future world champions. But let's just get you know right into it. Um, in no particular real order. Uh, you, you got Sarah McMahon versus. Moraine Renu? Um, I'm probably butchering her name. And I haven't really seen her fight a lot. Um, I, I'm picking Sarah McMahon. I'm really hoping for her comeback trail. She really hasn't had much traction since the loss to Ronda. And, uh, you know, if she doesn't win, maybe the WWE will pick her up. Who knows? But I'm picking Sarah McMahon. One of the best female wrestlers on the planet ever. Uh, the next fight is Burrell and Brian Kelleher. I'm picking Burrell again. I'm I'm ready for his comeback, and he has a set of skills that you can never count out, no matter what rough road he's on. That brings us to Angela Hall and Moroz Moraz. Again, butchering her name. I'm going to go with Morales. Um I've never really been impressed by Angela Hill. I think a moment ago I called her Hall, and I'm sorry for that. I'm really bad at this. Um, hopefully I get better. I believe... Uh, I just don't believe Hill has next-level talent, and that's just my opinion. Well, we're going to move on. I'm going to cover one fight off of the non-televised prelims. Uh, just because it's, it's going to be a good one. Uh, Alan Jerban and Ben Saunders. I have to go with the massive amount of experience, and I have to pick Ben Saunders. Um, it's going to be a good fight just because he's in it. He doesn't have bad ones. And, uh, yeah. That's all I got. Uh, maybe that that is not the pre-prelim I was covering. Pre-prelim I was going to cover is Sam Alvey against uh, Marson. Again, butchering his name. I'm not even going to finish it. I'm picking Alvey. He's he's dang good, and I just I think he's got this one. Max Griffin and Mike Perry. Mike Perry could be fighting a bear, and I'm picking Mike Perry. There's 
I know he's not undefeated. I know he just he's coming off a loss. I can't count the dude out. And so that's my pick. OSP uh, against, I can't pronounce any fighter's name. I swear I know fighting. I swear I do. I watch them all. I just don't read them all. Uh, Latifi. Uh, I'm going OSP. He's on a hell of a win streak, and this fight will catapult him into the top five. Uh, he needs this, and the way he's been fighting, I couldn't count him out if he was fighting Mike Perry. Ah, you know what I did there? I didn't say a bear. I said the guy I think could beat a bear, so. Oh, I'm terrible. Yeah, there it is. Torres and Andrada. After Andrada's amazing battle for the belt, I'm picking her. I think she's got enough heart to be Torres, even though I think Torres is extremely skilled. Um... Moving forward, I think that lands us at our main event for the night, which is Jeremy Stevens and Josh Emmett. I could very, very much see Stevens being too much for Emmett. This is Emmett's real, real test. And I say that because he's no longer a surprise to people. Now he's fought talented fighters. It just we haven't known that much about him, or at least I didn't. And most everyone that's gotten the loss from him, they act like they didn't know the beasts they were stepping in with. So I'm gonna have to say, I'm gonna have to go, Josh. I think he knows the gravity of the situation, and even though the Jeremy is a complete war dog, uh, I think he edges out a decision. So. That was my first attempt at a prediction. Uh, hopefully I did pretty good. If not, who cares? Uh, I'm still going to post it. <laughs> uh, so that is Fox 28. Hope you enjoy the show. Hope you enjoy the video. And uh, this is Coach signing out.